Hi, this is The Business Guy. If your profession involves making sales to customers, here's something to keep in mind. My dad owned a sales organization and he hadn't presented for a while. He had a lot of salespeople who uh, were in his company. He hadn't presented for a while. We went out and we did some presentations together and we noticed that the majority of the people were turned down for their credit. We offered financing for these people, but they got turned down by the financing company on the majority of cases we thought, why are we getting so many turndowns? Well, the reason is because he hadn't presented for a while, his presentation skills were weaker than they had been. And so the only people we were getting were the laydown people, the people that say yes to everything. So it was a really weak presentation. And as he refined the presentation and got back in the swing, of course that happened a lot less. Uh, we had people who are accepted for their credit because uh, you know, if you give a rip roaring presentation, and you really put your passion and heart into it and hone your sales skills, you can get even the tough people saying yes to you. The more emphasis, the more emotion, the more feeling, the more passion, the more closing strength and ability we have, we'll get the tough ones and the easy ones, not just the lay down sales. So the key thing is constantly, constantly read sales books. You sh if you're in sales, you should constantly have a book that you're reading on sales or a video that you're watching on sales, that should be a constant thing. We're constantly honing our skills, getting better and better. And hey, the brain is like a leaky bathtub. Unless you have a constant input in the brain, the ideas and the thoughts and things you learn kind of leak out. So that's why we have to have constant input, constant reminding of ourselves what we need to do, the basics of sales and to make our sales skills better and better and better. So give a rip-roaring presentation, stick with the basics, make sure that you're selling people on yourself, the company, and the love of the product to a high level of certainty. And that takes passion and emotion and commitment and persistence and, and, and not taking no for an answer if you really, really know it's right for that person, like the cancer surgeon. If the cancer surgeon knows that patient is going to die unless they have that tumor removed, they don't say, okay, if, and, the, and the patient says, well, I want to think about it. The doctor's not going to say, okay, well, just call me back. No, he's going to say, hey, listen, you're going to die if you don't get this done. Uh, you know, you know, ultimately, it's, it's up to you, but uh, we need to get this done. You know, if you're in something, a financial kind of business, you know, you're going to die financially if you don't do something about this. Uh, or whatever profession that you're in. We have to have passion behind what we do. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you have passion when you're presenting, when you're in sales, and you really have honed your closing skills, you'll get the easy ones and you'll get the tough ones.